Gold Coast Australia, the destination for this year's Commonwealth Games. 22 athletes will be representing The Rock in what's the highest level of sporting competition Gibraltar can aspire to. Over the next few weeks, we'll be catching up with those selected. Gibraltar has been represented in seven sports for this year's Commonwealth Games, with triathlon one of them. A true test of fitness, endurance and skill, those involved in the sport certainly need to be dedicated and committed to it. It takes many, many hours. Um, it takes a lot of support as well from family and, and all the training team around. Um, and also being able to train amongst these inspirational guys. <laughs> It's just, it really does help. But yeah, it's huge dedication. You will have full-time jobs, demanding ones at that. So just how organized do you need to be to make sure that you can fit in those double sessions and stick to that grueling training schedule? It's really very challenging, but I mean, we've been doing it now for a number of years and uh, you know, you sort of get into a routine with it and uh, try and work around family commitments and everything else uh, so that you can fit in the training as and when. But a lot of the training is done very early in the morning um, very late at night um, and it's really fitting in as much as possible. I think really to reach the standard in the Commonwealth Games for, for me um, and I'm sure for the other, I speak for the other two, without the three of us pushing ourselves to the limits, I don't think any of us would have made it if any one of us would have pulled out. Personal bests are hard to gauge for triathletes as performance is course specific with the weather and other factors also playing a part. But the three hope to fare well against the minor nations. A great pride to go out and represent Gibraltar in such a high level competition. Okay, obviously we're not going to do, we're not going to be able to compete against the Englands and Scotlands, but definitely against the minor nations. Yeah. So, I mean, triathlon is a huge sport now worldwide. In Australia it's absolutely massive. Um, in the Commonwealth Games we have the gold, silver and bronze medalists from the Olympics. So it's one of the few sports that has the top people taking part. So the amount of coverage will be huge. For me, it's about anyone watching who knows anything about triathlon looking at the three of us and thinking, those guys deserve to be there and they put in a credit for performance. What's the realistic target then? For me personally, I'd love just to finish. Um, this time round though, I think we're going to be much luckier because um, triathletes are not going to be pulled out if they're lapped during the cycle leg of the, of the event. So, Barring a disaster or mechanical failure on the bike or anything like that, uh, my, my, ma my main aim is to finish and, and do as best as I can. Travelling to another time zone has its challenges too, but the athletes who compete early on in the Games hope to have acclimatised by then. I mean, I think it'll be just about enough time um, for us to get used to the weather, the time, get a few sessions in just to fine-tune the body before the, the big day itself. So what's the strategy? How are you hoping to tackle the race? As I learned very, very early on from Chris, <laughs> the strategy is very simple. You go as hard as you can on the swim, and when you think you can't anymore, you go as hard as you can on the bike, and then let the powers that be take you on the run. <laughs> it's going to be quite tactical. It, it'll, it'll very much depend on how the event unfolds that we'll be able to, to compete with. Obviously on, on the bike it's important that you hopefully get within a group because it, it makes it so much easier um, and, and more competitive to do that. So we're hoping that's going to be the case. The three are seasoned competitors, but this is Robert's first Commonwealth Games in contrast to Chris's fifth experience. The men will be upping the training closer to the event and promise not to disappoint from the three of us, you know you'll get 110%. And yeah. from Robert, you're going to get 150%. <laughs> and, um, and, and we will, we will, we will lay it all down on, on the day. That, that is 100% you know, guaranteed. guaranteed.